Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Mac TV. Today, I would like to share how to solve this differential equation. Since the variables are of the same degree, this I'm going to apply the separation of variables method. Firstly, let y be equal to bx. Differentiate both sides with respect to x, which obtain dy dx is equal to. Let's apply the product rule, and we should have v plus x dv dx. Now, let's rearrange the difference equation by dividing both sides dx so we should have x squared plus y squared plus 2xy divide dx is equal to 0 let's substitute y is equal to vx so we should have x squared plus v squared x squared plus 2x vx multiply replace divide dx with the derivative so we should have v plus x dv dx and this is equal to 0 let's expand the equation so we should have x squared plus v squared x squared plus 2v squared x squared plus 2v x cubed dv dx is equal to 0. Let's simplify it. So we should have x squared plus 1v squared x squared plus 2v squared x squared we obtain 3v squared x squared plus the remaining term 2v x cubed dv dx is equal to 0. Let's divide the entire equation by the factor x squared. So we should have 1 plus 3v squared plus 2v x dv dx is equal to 0. Rearrange the equation with the derivative dv dx remain on the left. Copy the variables with it. So we have 2vx here. The other move to the right. When we change the side, we should change the sign. So we have negative 1 plus 3v square. For the left hand side, we can rewrite the term as 2v dv multiply x over dx. And this is equal to negative 1 plus 3v square. Let's split the variables. So we should have 2v dv whatever terms with v move to the left so which means that we should bring 1 plus 3v square here and this is equal to negative remain whatever term with x move to the right so which means that we should have 1 over x dx when changing the size remember multiply becomes divide divide becomes multiply next let's integrate both sides with respect to the correspond variables. For the left hand side, when I differentiate the denominator, we should obtain differentiate 1 obtain 0, differentiate 3 v square obtain 6 v. Remember when we differentiate power bring down, so 2 times 3 equal to 6. Now let's check with the numerator. Unfortunately, we have 2 instead of 6. To make 2 becomes 6, very simple, we multiply 3. Of course, we couldn't simply multiply something to make it balance let's divide 3 so which means that we should have 1 over 3 here and we can now integrate easily so we have the factor 1 over 3 and this is simply loan 1 plus 3 v square and for the right hand side we have negative again loan x remember to add the constant c since this is integration now let's rearrange for the left hand side we can rewrite it as loan 1 plus 3v square to the power of 1 over 3 and for the right hand side let's bring negative ln x to the left negative move over becomes positive so we have plus ln x and this is equal to c next apply the properties of ln so we should have ln x multiplying 1 plus 3v square to the power of 1 over 3 and this is equal to c let's anti ln so which means that we take exponent so we have x multiply 1 plus 3v square to the power 1 over 3 equal to e to the power of c next i'm going to make a cube for both sides so we have x cube cube root cube observe each other so we left 
1 plus 3v square and this is equal to e to the power 3c by using the properties of indices and we know that y is equal to vx which means that v is equal to y over x so let's replace it so we have x cubed multiply 1 plus 3y square over x square is equal to e to the power 3c if let's say we don't want to keep writing e to the power 3c we can simply let it be c1 since it is a constant i'm going to rewrite the left hand side so we should have x cubed multiply x square plus 3y squared over x squared is equal to c1 let's simplify the left hand side so we should have x multiply x squared plus 3y squared and this is equal to c1 expand it we obtain x cubed plus 3xy squared is equal to c1 let's bring x cubed to the right remember when we bring over positive becomes negative and we should have y square is equal to c1 minus x cubed divided by 3x which means that y is equal to plus minus square root of c1 minus x cubed over 3x and hence we done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you